The subject that we're going to be talking about today, I've wanted to talk about this for a long time. I just never got to taking the clips and editing it. Plus, I didn't know if YouTube was going to take the video down. So let me state that right now. YouTube might take this video down and it definitely will not be monetized. So check me out on Patreon and all my other pages. But yes, I wanted to talk about this subject for a long time. It involves a TV show that I used to love watching when, as a kid. Um, it's called The Real World. Some of you might have heard of it. It's on MTV. And it was a situation between one of the, the castmates named Tammy. You might know her for being like super famous now and being on a bunch of other reality TV shows. And another castmate named Dave, who used to have like a lot of, you know, notoriety. He was in a bunch of movies. He was in a movie with Dave Chappelle. Um, he like had a, a stand up special, all types of stuff. Right. But after this incident that took place on his TV show, his career was never the same. His life was never the same. And so many people perceived this the wrong way. Like my entire life. My, I was like the only one growing up saying, this is wrong. They're accusing this man of something that he did not do. And this is really, really wrong. But it seemed like no one really cared. But after they just released a new season when they brought back all the old castmates and they had a, a huge discussion about this and a lot of clarity was brought to the fans' eyes, I was like, oh yeah, it's time. It's time. I got to get on this and I got to explain this in, you know, my way, my perception of things, man. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the like button, subscribe, and also drop some comments. Whatever it takes. Oh, yeah. You know, we going to make it through. There's a whole lot of nastiness going down on YouTube. Now I got my eye on you. Day after day. Ah. The real world was a crazy ass show, fam. Really crazy. It even leads into this show that's still coming on right now called The Challenge, right? Where a bunch of other reality TV stars come on and do a bunch of competition stuff. But The Real World has always been one of the wildest shows, right? And that's one of the reasons why I really enjoyed it. Um, but this one incident where Tammy, uh, she's, you know, playing with, with Dave and the rest of the castmates and they start pulling her cover off and it gets pulled to the next level after that. It gets taken to the next level and it's extremely foul what they do to this guy, Dave, fam. So let me show you a clip of them, like, you know, horse playing. You could clearly see her smiling in this damn clip. Take a look at this. Don't do that! Are you I swear to God! Two things I want to know. One, she was smiling. Everybody was laughing. It was all jokes and games, right? Up until a certain point. And also, the second thing I want to point out, is it wasn't just Dave pulling on his cover. It was other people. Everybody was playing. It was like all a joke, right? How did it get this far? Let's let's keep watching. Good. Let's find them. Come on. A little instigation going on there. Everybody, drop me across the floor. In front of the fucking camera, bro. The 38 people in the production room. I fucking bastard. I'm going to kick his ass. Yes. Yeah. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's kick his ass. If there's no other indication of foul play, the fact that this other cast made by the name of Beth is sitting here celebrating and instigating is crazy. I never liked her. I never liked her, fam. Like, look at the she's running around hyping Tammy up to make this seem like it's something that is not. And she's going to keep going. It's going to get worse. It's definitely going to get worse. It ain't going to get better with nasty ass Beth. Oh, nah. That's not how reality TV works. Yeah, I, I watch it, but I admit it is some of the most toxic stuff I've ever seen in existence, fam. That's facts. Yes, I love it. Fam, look. Look, they're putting his boots in the toilet, throwing stuff all over his bed. I think Tammy's going to eventually hit him a few times, fam. All of that. Like, yo, th this is clearly not as serious as what they making it seem. Because if it was, I don't think that all of these things would be done. I think that the worst possible um, conclusion would happen first before they want to do childish games back. He's playing child in a childish way. All of you guys are playing in a childish way. And Beth is clearly showing that's exactly what type of time they was on. Come on, Finn. This is like junior high school type of sleepover game. Oh, I don't want to put shit on people's bed. Oh, no! No! no. Right you guys, help stop it from coming in here! Stop it! Oh my God! You guys, please, 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 please,
Ooh, so what's that about? I don't, I don't even make it in the bedroom. Ooh, Ooh. damn! Oh, she yanked you back! After you watch the rest of the clips, you're going to see why this portion is pissing me off when it comes to this girl, Beth. She's sitting there smiling, fam, even till this day. At this point in time, what they're watching is like, it's a review, right? It's a or not a reunion, but it's like a clip show that they did where they brought some castmates back and looked at some of the craziest clips, right? This is years after the fact. And she's still smiling about this, right? So what she's saying, what she's going to say, you're going to hear her make these claims. It makes no sense if she's even still to this day smiling after the fact. That's why I go to sleep. Y'all wake with a bunch of shit on y'all tonight. <laughs> I can't even believe it. You think that what you did to her is nothing. I was playing. Was you were playing? She's in a fucking room. Oh, I'm in front of the camera and it's funny. You're sorry. You're sorry way too much here. You know that? <laughs> You're sorry? She fucking had it her front. Fam, Dave was 100% right. They were laughing and giggling and playing with, even still to this day, when she's watching the footage back, she's still laughing, right? So no, it's not as serious as they're trying to make it seem, right? Later on in the video, I'm going to show y'all why Tammy says that she did all of this. She has like an explanation why she reacted like that. Um, but at this moment, fam, nah, 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 you're wild. You're wild and y'all making some crazy accusations, man. You should fucking file charges. <laughs> She's filing charges and stuff now. She should. Beth, you next. I'm gonna f you next. Oh yeah, what shut, the shut, the shut, the shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. But you should press charges. Because nobody's sticking up for her. That's bullshit. With I was see, David immediately oh, jumped and thought that I said rain, and I didn't. I rain said it first. Damn. Her excuses. Someone else said it first. Irene said it first. Um, and then so it's it's not my fault that I told Tammy that she should press charges. No, no, that's that someone else said it first. So just me, you know, laughing about it still to this day and giggling because I think it's funny that men get falsely accused of things. We were all joking around, and now I think this man should go to jail. I think his life should be ruined. I think his career should be ruined. Which and when I show more clips, is going to be clear indication that she had some kind of envy. In him, because all these guys, they come on reality TV to not to just, oh, and just seeing Smith. No, they're trying to get famous, fam. They be like selecting people who have acted in a few things. It's quite a few members of certain cast of especially Real World or Role Rules that I've seen. I'm like, I remember them from a TV show when they were a kid. That happens all the time. All the time, fam. So because he came in the house and he already had connections, he was already in big movies and already had like a, a whole comedy special. She was envious. And she was like, I'm going to take him down. He's always talking about how famous he is and how he knows famous people. I'm going to destroy this man. They wanted that from the beginning. And if you see many people watch this show and people come up to me and tell you, you didn't rape that girl. Now, of course, that's a genuine thing to say, but you don't feel like hearing that. It okay. makes you feel like you raped somebody. Yeah. And for her to say that, to say that they're dead, they're dead wrong. I agree. They are dead wrong, 100%. They were wilding, bro. They were straight wilding. He has to deal with this for the rest of his life. People who, because this was a huge show. This is a famous show, guys. This is like one of the trendsetters. You see Tammy as, fam, I showed a video, like a little clip of this. Something like, uh, <laughs> the person that was watching with me. The person that was watching me was like, oh, I always wondered how Tammy was able to get these fine dudes. It's because back in the day, she was a baddie. <laughs> we didn't even know. That's how old this damn show is, right? And Tammy is still a celebrity. She's a celebrity now, bro. Think about that. The trajectory of her career and the trajectory of this other person's career who was already up to a certain level at this point. Like, yo, this is disgusting, yo. This, like, really set a trend. There's nothing. Man, I, I would press charges in an instant. Yes, man, press charges. Yeah, shut the fuck up, all right? You so fucking I, ripped so her. I will go to jail for both of you, all right? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because that's where you belong. You're, you're a fucking sicko, man. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you shut the fuck up. Where the fuck 
did you grow up in a fucking tree? Don't go Don't go You're a fucking Don't idiot. Don't I'll tell you what, I'll leave the house. All right. Good, leave. We'd be very happy. We'd feel much fucking safer. Fucking rapist. No wonder you fucking masturbate. A lot of people will look at this and make it seem as if he's the aggressor. But if you listen to the things she's saying, yo, fam. This dude is having it like a breakdown. What you're going to see in the future clips that I'm going to show, man, I'm over here just, just doing spoilers. Like, anyway, uh, you're going to see, like, this is affecting me. He was, fam, you throw those words out to a man, bro. Like, a lot of people don't realize in society and what's going on now, people will put the fear of God in you, bro. Like, they will put that fear in your chest from saying that your whole life will flash before your eyes, bro. And like a lot of females don't understand that type of level of fear for, for men. For men to have to deal with that, it's crazy, bro. Just an accusation, even though it could be false, can ruin your fucking life. Bare minimum, follow you wherever you go. That's disgusting, man. That's why I wanted to do this video. We need more people to take a stand against this type of stuff. This is wrong, bro. This is foul. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, this is our way to get him out. And that's how we got him out. That's what a rape is says too. Right? It's like a one it, baby. It, it wasn't a rape situation, okay? But, but yeah, that's what it was. You hear this nasty bitch? Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, she's in there laughing, chucking it up. <laughs> but it wasn't that. It wasn't that, but it, you know. You know, we just said it because we wanted him out the house. That's that's why we said it. But it, it clearly wasn't that. <laughs> I have to live with people coming up to me going, you didn't rape her. My daughter's like five years old. My daughter goes, Daddy, why, why did they say rapist? And, you know, we had to sit down and tell her that. Wow. You know, so besides Tammy Lee's talking about she's naked and all this, I'm the one that leaves with scars. I had already done two movies and sitting on the last season of Living Color before this even came out. And I was talking to David Allen Greer, Jim Carrey, and Jamie Foxx. And those guys was going, David, are you on some TV show on MTV running around <laughs> putting some girl's blanket on? And then the whole world just changed. Just hit like a sonic boom. boom. Fam, this dude's life, man. Like his career was on the rise. And what these group of girls did to him was disgusting, fam. That it was spiteful. It was beyond petty. It was nasty as hell, fam. It, it showed a lot of like bitterness and a certain level of envy. It, it was really, oh man, it was really foul, bro. Like this for years, I, I've watched like the reruns that they did show of this, but I, I've thought about this like, yo, man, like at any moment, any moment, fam, they could just, just end you. You had your I time. Know, you, I'm not a rapist. You know what? I, I never said. I, I don't think you're a rapist. Yes, you do. No, you I don't. Know, you I don't think you're a rapist. All pulling that damn blanket. So at this moment, uh, she's avoiding accountability. He walks up on it because they are filming at the same location. And eventually she's going to run her ass up out of there because she'll do anything and then not be accountable. I'm totally done. I'm not going to whatever, you know? Wait, Beth, this is so. No, you know what? I have better things to do. No, no. Listen, this is. This is so childish. I like, I am so David, over this people. Listen. Like, he needs to grow up. Beth. I don't, I really don't care because I know what happened. People that lived in the house knows what happened. But and the that's world is not, but the, I don't care. But the, but the listen, world doesn't need, the, wor listen, the world Beth. just saw David go off again, okay? First of all, you ain't had nothing better to do. You ain't had a goddamn thing to do. You're your nasty ass. Where was you going? Where was he going? To the nasty store? To the nasty store where you could just keep going somewhere and making up stuff on people and laugh about that shit? Fuck out of here. Fuck that bitch. That's straight up. I told y'all what Tammy was going to do. She was going to put up some excuse. Years later, the most current, I think it happened in the beginning of the year, uh, where they did the reunion show. They had them all in the same house and they addressed past issues. Tammy's whole excuse was, I had body dysmorphia. That, that's why I reacted like that. I, my body, I didn't like my body. I didn't like my body. I'm going to get cancer. <laughs> Fam, Tammy's rich. Tammy has had an amazing life. I don't care how she feels about her body, bro. Fam, you ruined this dude's life. What you talking about? Yeah, you can feel like you your body ain't right, but you can, you know, sip your wine, huh, and enjoy your time in your big ass house. Or right, this guy, from what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing, he's in the streets. 
and all some stuff. That's what they say in any streets. I can't confirm that. I did reach out to see if I could get his, you know, take on the situation, but I didn't hear back by the time I edited this video. I apologize to Tammy. Some people out there don't want me apologizing at all, but the audience didn't know as well as me that she had body dysmorphia. And if I knew that, no way that would have went down. I just wished I would have known. Fam, I, I don't even think he should have apologized, bro. I'm call a spade a spade after what they did, fam. Nah, now nah, you got to address that. That's the elephant in the room at the moment. For years, this man has been blackballed and his career was ruined. Maybe even his whole entire life. Fam, come on, bro. Address that. I don't give a damn about how this person felt about their body. They can get over it. Fam, he can't get over that, fam, in a matter of like more in a literal sense. Because it's like, bro, he had to experience those things through those years. He couldn't have just, oh, let me get over the black. But no, it affected him, right? It affected him in more ways, right? And I'm not trying to just dump on body dysmorphia, right? If you got that kind of issue, go ahead, handle that. Um, you should love yourself, but I understand if you're going through some, make the steps necessary to handle that. That don't mean that that's comparable to somebody's life being destroyed, though, bro. Not by a long shot. I'll call the police and scream. I'll call the police and scream. Okay, so who said that? I did. Okay. I should have never said that. I should have done something else to stop him. It's ugly. It's stupid. And I'm embarrassed by it. Fam, I know this might just sound like I'm sour, but Irene taking accountability for that. That does nothing for me. I'm sure that it does nothing for Dave, to be honest, fam. Her taking accountability for that years later. Fam, this is like not even on a big platform. <laughs> this show is on a streaming app. Nobody's seeing this. Nobody is seeing this. I looked it up on YouTube. Only like two people were speaking about it. Fan, nobody, nobody checking for this. Nobody looking for that, right? So to so a lot of people, to the regular person just walking down the street, they still probably think Dave is what they accused him of. The funniest thing that could happen. No man, yes, right? Yeah. I guess no man, yes. <laughs> you always came after me. What? David. What, what is what let's is, talk about the clip i know but why let's, you always have you're always in the middle of something let's start with that why i think it's important david for you to accept responsibility for what happened you can't blame me for something that you did in that hallway i feel like you're trying to blame me for your actions i didn't make you do what you did to tammy this bitch <laughs> yo fan yo this bitch yo you're bugging bro Yo, bugging. Yo, look at her. She will never like really take 100% accountability for what she did. She's trying to pin it on other people. Well, who said it first? Who well, I wasn't the one that said it first. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your dumb ass up, fam. This person is disgusting. I was watching an episode of The Challenge. Yeah, I still like that show. Yeah, I still be watching that. I saw she was on it. I was disgusted immediately. I was like, why is she even still on TV, bro? I don't want to see her. And I'm not with cancer culture, but me personally, I don't want to see people that are willing to destroy lives and just keep it pushing. That's crazy, bro. Especially if the motherfucker didn't really do nothing to you. If it's on that level, that's crazy, bro. You had no right to classify me as a rapist. None of you did. And that's dead fucking wrong. You know what? Fuck you for doing that. I love you and fuck you too. Okay, fuck you too. Thank you. Facts. Facts. He's not wrong. I 100% agree with everything he just said. Yeah. F them, bro. Those dudes. Fuck them. Why did I bleep myself out? Fuck them. This video ain't getting monetized. F them, bro. F them. That was foul. That was some of the most foul stuff I've ever seen, bro. And they all just sitting there with these smug looks on their face like it's no big deal. Like, eh, it is what it is. Fuck y'all. Y'all are still the same. I wanted to talk to you without the cameras. I couldn't get that. Now I want to talk to you by yourself. I can't get that. So either way, I look like the asshole. You are. They depict him as some kind of monster, but yet when he tries to calmly speak to them civilly, like just, oh, let's have a civil conversation. There's no, no, you know, you're horrible, you're evil. Ugh. Just to paint him as this villain, bro. And it's, it's really, really wrong. 
I don't I don't think no one should have had to go through that. No one should have to go through that ever, bro. This is foul. I should have never said that in the hallway, but I think I did it out of fear. I didn't jump in because I was fearful of what was going to happen because of my job, my family. So shame on me for using that word. But it was in that moment of fear that I didn't know what else to say to get you to stop coming down that hallway. But I should have never used that word. And I apologize. And, and for thank that. you. And you're not the only one. I got two women throwing the word rape around. That was a dumbass excuse. But at least she's trying to take some kind of accountability at least. But I, I'm a fan of the the sorry the apology should be just as big as what you did to to cause the apology that it should be just as huge fam i think that mtv should put this on the main platform and they should have pumped this they should have pumped the hell out of this so everyone can see that this man was done so foul bro you have to openly admit that if that happened today that would be a me too situation. But it didn't happen today. It Thank did not. God it happened it in 1993. Not. So it it's not. not a me too it situation. Did not. So let's it get the not. fuck up off the me too situation because I'm not going back to the rapist and the me. I'm just but Okay, chat. Fam, I'm going to call a spade a spade. Fuck Tammy, bro. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Like, yo, she will stop at nothing to try to destroy this man, bro. Even when clips and footage is being released, where it's just like, clear him of any kind of nasty disgusting things they're accusing him of she's still like well if it was today you would have got me too no no duh duh you stupid yo fam oh oh I, I can't stand females like this what are you trying to do you're trying to put more offense yeah, it would have been worse if you no how worse could it have been sammy how worse how fucking Sick of you to be sitting there on your high horse from your fucking palace, pointing a finger at him, telling him what he need to be doing, what he should have done, when his whole fucking life is in ruins, when your career went up. How dare you? Now the, the girls said that they don't feel safe. We as a production have to make a decision, and it's not an easy one. We understand the sensitivity overall. They feel unsafe based upon him doing that. That Those, no, 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 no not no. just that event, a cumulative. I mean, we were surprised events. at the adamancy of their fear. The way this is going to come up, you know, I'm just really concerned about how my client's going to look. Sure. I think there will be people no. who look at this and, and have the exact same thing you're saying, that their fear is unjustified, but other people may have other opinions. Guys, buy me a hotel or something so I can get my stuff together and go find me a play. I'm not a piece of shit here, okay? We're not. No, no, no. Hey, look, don't write me a deal, sir, check, and you go on about your merry way. No, 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 no. We were definitely going to help you make this transition. We're not, gonna, we're not putting you out in the street. It's going to have to recover from this. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. he doesn't ruin his career. I'm not a you piece of shit. Man. I'm a human being. Of being no. Man. Although we can't have you living in the house, we'd like to shoot you for a couple of weeks. And one of the reasons we talked about continuing to shoot, I don't want to show the audience. I don't want to shoot shit, man. I don't want to shoot shit. Oh, well, I guess I mean you guys. We, we get what we that portion of this footage, like, really pissed me off, bro. Like seeing it, like, cause he, like, as a entertainer, you know the trajectory of your career based off certain things, and you can see him just like. Like imagining his entire next 20 to 30 years of just everything just being really hard and bad for him. You can see it, bro. You can see it. And it's just like, yo, this is heartbreaking, bro. We're just having to watch that. It's like, damn. David's life has just really affected by this situation. And his life was really fucked up. And still very fucked up. Like, David looks bad. David looks like he is dealing with drugs. I don't know if he is or if he isn't. David looks like he is dealing with drugs. David looks like, um, let me stop playing with y'all. David is dealing with drugs. David was dealing with homelessness up until this episode. I don't, I don't know why I just sit up, sat up here trying to lie to y'all like I know what the fuck was going on. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to do that. I ain't mean to do that. <laughs> Yo, wait, wait, that's great. That's wow. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how true some of these things are, but yeah, fam, that is insane. I, I definitely think that these people were wrong for this, bro. He had to go through so much because of this.
because of this. And this isn't the only case. A lot of these things happen, bro. Just men, you could just point the finger, accuse them, and that's it. And even though you're dead wrong, it still takes an effect on their life. And that's just the world that we live in. But yeah, I had to show that to you guys, man. Let me know what your opinion is down below in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and also, also share the hell out of the video. Join my Discord too, fam. Join my Discord. See you guys later. YouTube be playing me, son. Oh yeah, they be doing me dirty, man. Every time I upload a video, I see that yellow light. Why? Probably because of the curse or because I talk about certain topics um, that might be taboo. But guys, you know how you can help? Sign up for my Patreon, and it helped me keep going. It's also uh, exclusive content on there, as well as you'll get my, my content early, way before anyone else sees it, man. Sign up for that if you can to support me. And if you can't, don't worry about it, man. Just keep watching videos. Maybe watch some older videos that might be monetized. I, I don't know, but I appreciate you.